So, when I first saw this, I didn't think it was real because, honestly, uh, I thought it was for Magic Online. Because Magic Online has had these uh, sets for a very long time. Then I was like, wait a second. It comes with like a physical promo card? No. Could this possibly be? And it was. So, what, what, what is this? Um, let me kind of explain uh, what is happening here. Here you have a example of them doing what I always said they would do. They would just reprint old booster boxes, right? I mean, the mystery boosters was kind of like a combination of all the more valuable cards being reprinted again. But of course, they're going to go after these older boxes and they'll create that draft experience. They're trying to get that nostalgic player base. Now... Obviously, there are no cards on the reserve list here. Time Spiral is not that old, but Time Spiral has been, I mean, ooh, I mean, if you have some cards from that age, minus reprints, if had they not reprinted them, they would have been incredibly valuable. Obviously, when you think about cards that are valuable, you think about old Tomogoyf, which is almost useless now and uh, worth no money. So even though I'm not surprised, it is an interesting way to look at it. So here, here I, I just make it very simple for you. If you treat Magic as an investment, you can only buy reserve list cards or booster boxes that have reserve list cards in them. Uh, therefore, theoretically, I guess they could reprint cards that are not on the reserve list and just make a new booster box, but they're very lazy. And they never come up with new ideas. So if you've seen like Modern Masters and this and that, their new ideas are basic F's, right? Ikoria was an F. Return to Zendikar, Return to Return to Zendikar was an F. And you, you don't need, you could say, oh, wow, so flavorful, so amazing, so brave. But like at the end of the day, the sales numbers, um, plus the fact that the set itself is worthless, there are very few cards in that set. And this is before rotation. I mean, this is pretty crazy. I look at the Kaldenheim prices, and it's like, my God, unless you hit two Mythics, you, you like, I mean, even, even if you hit two Mythics, it's not enough. And we know foils are no longer any money, right? So we know that foils don't have any money to them. So, um, hmm. Am I surprised that they are reprinting old, essentially old booster boxes? I know that it's not the same as a booster box. It's actually even better. Because essentially they combined all the best cards in three different sets of that age. And you and the draft experience is better in my opinion. Because you get more powerful cards. So um, let, let me just go ahead and just make a pretty crazy statement. Because I think the crazy statement should be made. Um, yeah. This is pretty fascinating. And the reason that I think it's so fascinating, and you can say that, you know, either you know or yes or no, it doesn't really matter to me, is when it comes down to it, this absolutely changes the game. The game is now so different than it used to be. Because if you're holding on to old boxes, I don't think this really makes your box so it, it's one thing maybe your box price doesn't go down but it's not liquid anymore because you can pay for this better product like i don't think anyone holding a box of time spiral would argue that per card there's more value in this particular product because it honestly is all the best cards in three different sets combined into one and if you were just looking at cards to draft and have a draft experience, you wouldn't buy a box of Time Spiral, a box of um, Future Sight, and whatever the other one in the middle is. Um, you wouldn't do that because it would be super expensive, right? So the argument that you're holding on to boxes and people are paying a lot of money for boxes just so they can draft and do sealed, that argument no longer applies in my opinion because you can do all that stuff without it now like it's not no longer necessary for you to buy a box of time spiral to draft it 
you have the best at a much affordable cost. And trust me, these remastered series, just like the anthologies and so on, they're going to hit every single one of these sets. I mean, Time Spiral. Um, let's see, Time Spiral. What would be the next set? So Time Spiral, Time Shift, Planar Chaos, Future Sight. So yeah, the next one they're obviously going to hit is Lower and Morning Tide, Shadow More, Evening Tide. And they'll have, they'll call it Lorwyn Remastered. And they'll reprint everything in those sets. And they'll do so in this premium product. So none of your cards in, are valuable. Now, I am surprised they didn't do Ravnica. They could have done original Ravnica, which was before, the set right before Time Spiral. But maybe Coach that made that kind of weird. But yeah, I thought they could do Ravnica, Guild Pack, Descensive. So any of these cards you have, I guess it's because we've been back to Ravnica so much that the Shocklands are not really... Yeah, they, we would just be reprinting the Shocklands. But maybe they do Kamigawa. So all the the uh, Champions, Betrayers, Saviors, they all kind of sucked. But if you combine them into one box, they probably it's like feasible. Or Meriden. Or Onslaught, you know, throw in the Fetch Lands. Odyssey, you know, Odyssey wasn't a very popular set, but I mean, they could go all the way back. They could do Apocalypse, Plane Shift, Invasion. They can do that. You go all the way back to Mercadian Mask. Again, no one wants to go there because those sets suck. Prophecy was like one of the worst sets ever. I'm looking at the prices. Yeah, outside of Ristic Study, maybe Overburden. I mean, there's like nothing in the set worth any type of money. So unless it's reserve list, and unless the boxes that you have invested in are sealed reserve list box, there's no utility for the box. So like you open a sealed box, like unless you're arguing it's a collector's item, which I get that argument, you can open the same cards from this product. And you can be sure that they're going to reprint every old set in a box like this that would be fun to draft. Why not? Tempest Remastered, Time Shift Cards Return, Lord of Atlantis, Pendlehaven, Gemstone Mine. These are pretty good cards. I like them. Um, I, I like them a lot. So I'm not a Debbie Downer on this. I actually think this is a great product. I'm just suggesting that like holding singles of this product does not really make too much sense. Holding boxes of the product if you want to draft it. Like, no one is going to go out and spend an insane amount of money for these sets, right? Like, what are these sets? How much do these sets go for? Uh, time Spiral, Planar Chaos, Future Sight. What's the most valuable card in Time Spiral? If you take a guess. Well, Academy Runes, but that's been reprinted. Gemstone Caverns will be here. Vesuva, Swarm, Guard... Gauntlet of Power. I mean, there's enough value. And definitely, if you combine these sets, like you combine Planet Chaos, what's the most valuable here? Damnation. Orgbog. Yes, Orgbog will probably receive another reprint. Imps, Mischief. I mean, there are a few good uncommons too. Rebuff the Wicked, Necroic, Keen Sense. Uh, I mean, Planet Chaos wasn't that great of a set. So let's see if uh, there is a better set out there. Obviously, Future Sight is a pretty good set. Let's take a look here. Sliver Legion. Holy F me. I have a bunch of those. That's going to get reprinted. Tamagoyf down to 50 bucks. Pack of Negation. Only reprinted. So, I mean, basically, it's going to be a reprint. Like, I honestly do not think you can invest in any of this stuff. I mean, just the uh, sheer amount of reprints that any card over $50 receives. I mean, Tamagoyf at one time was a $200 plus card. Instead of going up, it went down every single year. And that's what they want. And again, I'm okay with that, but you have to realize that this is what's happening. And you either buy reserve list or you die. Your financial thing will die. The reserve list is a fantastic buy. Everything else, I mean, my gosh, like it's just not even fair. It's really not even fair. Um, I look at the prices and I chart the prices and I just think that at the end of the day, it just, they're going to reprint everything to the ground, 